What's up guys, this is Corey with the Dirt City Gym, and we are back with another video for y'all today. So today we're going to be looking at another deck profile from set 3 on Dragon Ball Super. Um, so today we're going to be looking at a new leader as well. We're looking at Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, he's our blue leader, so he has a, a couple pretty cool effects that I think are really interesting. So um, he's got the permanent, you can only have up to 6 energy in play, um, which... If you look at it one way, it's maybe a negative. You're not able to get up over six, obviously. Um, but really, you're not really wanting to go more than six energy in majority of decks anyway, so it's not really that much of an issue. Um, and he's got the activate main. Place one card from your hand in the drop area. Um, if you have no energy, choose two cards in your life and then add them to your, ener to your um, energy area. Uh, so basically on turn one, we're ramping up the two. So that's taking the effect of like an objection or things like that. So we're getting that ramp really quickly. We're awakening ourselves, um, or cause we're cutting ourselves really low. Um, so very strong ability. Um, and then he's got whenever, um, your life is a four or less, you may flip him over and two card, draw two cards and awaken on those awaken side. So he's still got the same effect of, you can only have up to six energy in play, which again, like I said, we're not really worried about that. He's got the auto at the end of your turn, um, choose up to three of your energy and then switch them to active mode. So you untap three energy at the end of every single turn, which is of super strong ability that lets you every turn overcommit, tap out all of your energy, play big things, play multiple things. And not really worry about the consequences because you're always going to be able to untap to have energy open in a gate, combo with, all sorts of stuff. And then he's got, whenever he attacks, he draws a card. So what we're going to be looking at is a hand destruction version of this. Um, so this leader is super versatile in the fact that you can play in a several, several different types of ways, depending on the type of deck you want to run. Um, this leader can really adapt to what you're trying to do. Um, I think a really fun way to play him is a hand destruction variant. So we're going to look into that. So um, primarily we're going to be running the Broly engine, but we're also going to be running some of the androids. So the first card we got up, we've got four of Broly, Dawn of the Rampage. So he's just a one drop, one green, auto whenever this card comes into play, look at the top seven cards of your deck, find a Broly, put it in your hand. So this is really um, what's setting off our engine. This is our tutor that we're going to use to find the rest of the Brolies and things like that. Um, next up, we have three bundle of curiosity, Son Goku, two drop, two, two drop, one green, whenever he comes into play, draw a card, just a good cycle card. Next up, we have four Android 15, just saying hi. So this is another new card from um, set three. So he's a three cost, two green, uh, 15,000 attackers, zero cost, 5k combo. Uh, whenever you play this card, your opponent discards one card from their hand and puts in the drop area. So really good, again, just discard effect type of card. We have three energy power go tanks. He's a three cost, one green auto. Whenever this card attacks your leader or your opponent's leader card, your opponent chooses one of their cards from their hands and places in the drop area. There's a 15 attacker, zero cost, 5k. So again, just a really strong get rid of card effect from hand. Um, three cost, 15 a card. A three cost 15k attacker is not bad, especially because you're playing them on your turn two um, after your ramp effect. So it's pretty strong. Cells Absorption. So I'll be honest with you, Cells Absorption is the entire reason I wanted to go this route with this leader. So it is an extra card. It costs four, two green. Um, activate main, your opponent chooses two cards from their hand and places them in the drop area. I think personally that's a super strong effect. The only unfortunate thing is it costs four. So in a lot of decks, being able to play this on turn four, turn five, you're tapping out all of, if not most of your energy, and you're not really able to respond if anything does happen on your opponent's turn. But with our leader, at the end of the turn, we're just tapping, untapping three. So we're basically paying this card for one, which I think is really strong. And again, like I said, the real reason I wanted to play this deck. So that is a three count. Next up, we've got four Hidden Awakening Kale. Not a lot of explanation needed for this, but it's a four cost, two green, zero K, zero cost, five K combo, 20,000 attacker. She has crit auto. Uh, whenever you play this card, choose one of your battle cards and KO it. Then you may choose any number of your opponent's battle cards and then energy cost total will add up to five or less and KO them. It's a really good board wipe. And then auto, whenever this card attacks, if you have five or less cards in your hand, draw a card. So this card is all around is a very, very great card. It's a very expensive card, but it's a very, very good card. Next up, we have four Unfeeling Destroyer, Android 15, four cost, two green, 20,000 attackers, zero cost, 5k combo, auto. Whenever you play this card, your opponent chooses one card from their hand and places it in the drop area. If that card was a battle card with an energy cost of four or more, draw one card. So again, just another discard effect, but we're also getting it a plus um, if we're forcing them to discard a battle card with a four cost uh, energy cost, we're drawing another card. So he's replacing himself. So again, a really strong ability. Next up, we have three 
Rampaging Life Form by our Broly, so he's a 5 cost 2 green, 1 cost 10k combo, 20k attacker, evolve for 2 green and 2 other. He has double strike and the auto whenever the card evolves from this card or into this card, um, your opponent chooses 2 cards from their hand and discards them. So again, really strong discard effect. He costs 4, um, so we're able to get him out on our turn 3 theoretically, um, if we get a Broly out early, um, and then untap 3 of our energy. We can also evolve him off of the um, energy reducing Broly that we'll get to later, which makes him cost 2. So for 2, we're making our opponent discard 2 cards from their hand, which is really strong. Alright, next up we have 3, Broly the Rampaging Horror. So this is our big guy. He is our 6 drop, 4 green, 1 cost, 10k combo, 30,000 attack, or evolve for uh, 4 green and 1 other, so 5. And then he has Double Strike Auto. Whenever you play this card, your opponent chooses 2 cards at random from their hand and places in the drop area. So again, just more discard effects. Um, being able to play him, to make your opponent discard too, and he's a big body with 30k double strike is incredibly powerful. We can end games with this. If we can time this right, dropping him, they clear out their hand and then swing for double strike, we can usually take games pretty well, or especially for comboing that with like a Kale. Um, let's say they're at three life, you drop, you have the Kale on the field, you attack Kale for crit, they have to take it, then you drop the Broly, discard their hand, swing in for game. Really strong stuff. <laughs> Um, using him to evolve off of the energy reducing reducing uh, Broly, um, we can evolve this Broly in for three, which is super strong. So we can play the three drop Broly and then evolve off of him in the same turn. And then untap three energy. All right, next up for our negates, we have three full power energy. Um, so this negates attack and then kills a battle card with an energy cost. Uh, one or less. Um, this isn't overly relevant. Um, you have the option between this and the black negate um, times judgment, which you discard two cards and bring it back to your hand. They both serve different purposes. Um, this helps us get a little bit of a board control, um, and it also serves as a green energy in case we have to absolutely have it. Um, so that's why I went over it, went with it over the times judgment, but it's definitely something you could replace if you feel the times judgment gives you a little bit more value being able to um, cycle through negates. Next up, we have four boost attack piccolo. Obviously, our leader is blue. Uh, we're going to ring a mono green deck, but we have a blue leader. Um, and this is just our super combo for blue. I, 99% of the time, always prefer boost attack piccolo over um, Kabito Kai. Um, I just feel like always getting the draw effect and everything else um, works better than the occasional draw effects from Kabito Kai. All right, next up, we have... Three, Relentless Destruction Mira. So this is one of our black Overrealm cards. He's a three cost, zero cost, 5k combo. Overrealm for three, 15k attacker. Auto, whenever you Overrealm with this card, uh, whenever you put this card into play using Overrealm, your opponent chooses one card from their hand and places in the drop area. So again, another very cheap discard effect. You combo this with Broly's. They're discarding two from Broly. You play him. They're discarding an additional one. Um, lots of really cool stuff you can set up with Relentless Destruction Mira, especially because you can play him for free. All right, next up we have three Time Patrol Trunks. Um, he has a three cost, zero cost, 5k combo, 15k attacker. Overrealm a three auto whenever you play this card with using Overrealm like the top two cards of your deck. You may choose one and put it into your hand or you may put them on top of your deck or at the bottom of your library. Um, again, just a really good cycle card. Um, we're already running the Relentless Destruction Mirror, but getting only three cards in the discard is not very difficult at all. Um, so a really strong effect of being able to basically draw a card and then kind of either set up whether you're going to draw whatever card you're going to draw next or getting rid of a card that you don't want to see anytime soon. All right, next up we have four Endless Evolution Broly. So this is the new tournament pack promo from set three. He has a three cost, two green, zero cost, 5k combo, 15k attacker. He has the permanent, um, whenever a card evolves from this card, um, you reduce its evolve cost by two green. Um, so basically using the six drop Broly for an example, he costs four green and one other to evolve. If we evolve off of this Broly, we reduce that cost by two green. So instead of costing five to evolve, he's only costing two green and one other. So he's costing three to evolve, which is super strong, especially late game, being able to drop multiple threats in one turn. And he's got the auto. Whenever you play this card, your opponent chooses one of their battle cards and KOs it. So again, just a board wipe um, with a really cool um, permanent effect that, do, that gets us in a really cool combos in the mid to late game. All right, next up we have two martial expert Tian Shinhan, or Tian. Um, so he's a three cost, two green, um, two cost, 10k combo, 10k attacker. He's got the auto at the end of the battle after you combo with this card. If your leader, um, if your leader is green, you may put this play, you may play this card. Um, we're never going to be comboing this to get that effect because we are running a blue leader. We're using it for its other, which is activate main. Choose one card in your life and then place it in the drop area. Then choose one card in your life and place it in your hand and choose up to one of your opponent's battle card and KOs it. So it gets board wipe, but most importantly, it awakens us. Um, 
if we are going first, we play our two energy off of our Goku leader, we pass, come back in our turn, we play our third energy, we play Tien, and then we're awakening on turn two, and then untapping all the three energy that we just used to play Tien, and getting board uh, control, getting extra cards in our hand, so really cool combinations of that. We are only running a two of because we don't really need to draw into these late game because they're not really going to do us very much. Um, they're kind of dead. And that... That is it, guys. So that is the list. Like I said, it's a really, it's a strong hand destruction deck. That's really what we're going for. That's our com that's our combos that we're doing. That's our play style. Um, you can uh, you can set up turns by turn three, turn four, depending on the deck you're playing against. You can kind of shut your opponent out of the game from drawing cards from that point on. You do have to be careful. Obviously, turns that you attack and that you could awaken them, they're gonna be able to take life and awaken, assuming they're a leader that draws two. Obviously, it has a much stronger effect against leaders that don't draw cards on Awaken, um, leaders that untap off of Awaken, so it's definitely something to pay attention to. Um, always attacking with things like Kale and everything for critical is really strong, and then just being able to combo that off with big Brolies that discard cards and everything from their hand. Again, it's just very, very, very strong effect. Um... And what I really love about this deck is just that you're able to go all out with your... You can play two of the three-cost Android 13 and a mirror in the same turn, make them discard three cards from their hand, and then you just, in the other turn, you pass, untap three, and you're good to go again. You're milling three cards, and then you still have ways to combo or negate things and stuff like that. So very strong combinations with all that. But anyway, guys, let me know what y'all think about the deck down below. Um... Let me know if there's any decks y'all are looking forward to see, y'all would like us to see moving forward, but we will see y'all next time.